Well, welcome back again. Shall we have another look at the Chinook? Um, we had a bit of progress since the last video. Um, and let's go through what we've done. Well, first and foremost, um, we're sorting out the seam along here. Um, that proved to be a little bit problematic, but you know, using the usual techniques, managed to sort that out. The top here that seam there, although that seems fairly prominent, um, that's actually just that's just the, the colour of the of the adhesive. Uh, fitting the, the nose um, the glazing in place, there was a gap here which had to be um, along along there along there um, you had to fill that with some some plastic strip. Uh, as you can see it masked all of that nose off and the windows and uh, the protruding windows like this uh, did a wrap of masking tape and some uh, ultra liquid mask by Ammo MIG um, the other thing uh, fitted the, the engine I suppose they're the engine themselves but these connecting parts here um, the join here was terrible so they've been filled with um, screw goo and uh, left to go off for a couple of days and they're sanded back so we'll give that a, a dusting of primer just to see how that fits and we'll probably have to come back and sort that out um, on the underside or the entrance into the rear um, the alignment of the sides um, wasn't very good so um, these had to be filled with um, plastic strip and sanded back and then we'll, I should go in and uh, tidy these edges up and then that will uh, mask the whole area up and, and paint those um, got to paint these areas here that, that aren't that aren't painted at the moment the underside is now stuck in place with masking tape as you can see um, the lining up um, at the front um, again not very good there's a gap here and there's a small gap there but this is all set as far as it will go but as you can see there's misalignment of the panel lines and this is why I've only taped it in place because we're going to have to do some adjustments to get all these panel lines to line up correctly um, in the middle of the back here you've got twin panel lines that are a little bit off, off on skew so we're going to have to probably adjust it here and here to make it sit back it doesn't seem to be sitting back on this side as much as it is on that side which possibly accounts for the misalignment there um, on that section so I'm going to make some work on, on this underside uh, to make that fit and hopefully close the gaps at that point there but apart from that progress is progress um, coming along quite nicely I'm quite pleased with it um, there was oh yeah there was horrendous gaps around these engine nacelles here which are filled with uh, Vallejo filler um, and that seems to have gone down quite nicely uh, but again we'll give the whole thing a coat of primer when we're ready and we'll see how that all looks from there so that's as far as we are onwards to the next stage